Hi, my name is Lisa Fry, Kentucky National Archery in the Schools Program Coordinator with the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources. Today we're going to do the third lesson in our archery series and it is learning the 11 steps to archery success. We're going to do that with using the string bow that we made in lesson number two. And that way you can practice these 11 steps so that when you come into PE class, you can amaze your PE teacher by already knowing the 11 steps and being able to put that bow in your hand and being able to shoot archery for the first time and having a wonderful time. So let's get to the 11 steps. So the very first, uh, of course, we're, we're using a piece of string, so it's gonna be a little different, but we're gonna be okay. So th the very first step is stance. We want to be able to get into the appropriate stance and that's an open stance. To be able to do that, I've placed what we would call our shooting line. This is where we're going to shoot from. So when you get to PE class, you're going to see a quiver in front of you and you're going to see a line. Well, to get into your stance, and you really only have to do this once, but to get into your stance, you're going to stay on the waiting line side of your line with both feet together. You're going to take a half step back into your end step and then you're going to step toward the target shoulder width apart and take your toe and bring it up and move it toward the target and set it down so at, at a little angle so this is an open stance you want to make sure that you're comfortable but this is going to, to also help ensure that when you're drawing the bow that you're going to have the right clearance that you need and that you have the stability that you need to shoot well. So step one, stance. Okay, step number two is knocking your arrow. Well, you don't have any arrows at home. I don't have any arrows either. So we're going to pretend. The, the most important thing to, to do when you're knocking an arrow is being able to do it appropriately. So if you would think about holding an ice cream cone and turning it upside down, that's how you're going to grab an arrow. So we're going to pretend that we have a quiver of arrows in front of us and we're going to bend down and we're going to grab an arrow below the fletchings or the feathers and we're going to slide it straight up out of the quiver. We're going to point it to the target and then we're going to pretend that we're going to bring it up and over our bow. And we're going to move it around in our hand so that the odd color fletching, the, the index fletching, you have um, three fletchings. Two are one color, one is an odd color. That odd color is going to be facing you. And then you're going to back the knock onto the string and you're going to hear it click. And we're going to make that noise. So at home when you're doing this, I'll expect you to make the click sound. So we're going to go click. Then we're ready for step number three, our draw hand set. Remember your scout's honor, your archer's groove? Well, you're gonna place your three fingers on your bowstring. Remember, we're pretending like we have a bow in our hand now. Uh, so you grasp the string underneath the arrow with those three fingers. And so that's setting your draw hand. Step four is setting your bow hand, so bow hand set. That's where, remember, the knot is going to simulate your bow grip. So you've got the bow, you've got the bow, you're holding the bow by the bow grip. Your fingers are nice and loose, touching the back of the bow grip. If we grip, like truly grip the bow grip, then it's going to pull the string into your arm. And when you let it go, it's going to hurt all the way down. So we want a really relaxed grip. So you're really just letting that bow sit really nice and kind of shelve the bow on your hand. And then your fingers nice and loose, touching the back of the grip. You're gonna see your knuckles at like a 45 degree angle. They're gonna be at an angle. And that's going to ensure that the string has clearance on your arm when you let go of the string and you shoot your first arrow. Step five, pre-draw. We're gonna hinge our arm toward the target, both arms elbow high. Step six, we're going to draw the bow to the corner of our mouth just like we did when we created our string bow. Remember, nice loose hand touching the back of the grip. 
seven, step seven, we're gonna anchor in the corner of our mouth. So our pointer finger is going to touch right in our smile. Step eight is aim. So we're gonna take, we're gonna look down our arrow. So you got an arrow in your bow. We're gonna look down the arrow. We're gonna look at the tip of the arrow and put the tip of the arrow on our target. And we'll start off by just putting the arrow near the center. A misconception is that if you point the arrow to the center, that you're gonna hit the center. Well, it's a little more complicated than that. When you're tall or short, your, your aim point on the target may not be the center. We'll talk about that another time. So to, in general, you just look at the tip of the arrow, get it on the target, and be ready to have some fun. So we are uh, pre-draw, draw, anchor is step seven, aim, so we're gonna be looking down that, that arrow, the tip of the arrow on the target, Shot setup. Shot setup is when we start a slight backward motion, drawing motion with this drawing elbow. At the same time, you're going to relax your drawing hand and you're going to let it just kind of let the string kind of slide out of your hand. What I want you to think about when you're doing this is think about holding on to monkey bars. Have you ever just hung off of monkey bars? and tried to hold there as long as you could, and you hold and hold and hold, and all of a sudden your hand just slides off, that's the feeling that you're gonna have. When you start this backward motion and you start relaxing that hand, you're gonna let that string come off your fingers like your, the monkey bar slid off your hand. So we are pre-draw, draw, anchor in the corner of our mouth, aim, so we're pointing, we're looking at the tip of our arrow on the target. Shot setup, so you're gonna see my elbow start drawing backwards. You're gonna feel, you're gonna feel yourself stretching your string, even though it's rigid. You're gonna stretch that string out, the elbow's coming back at the same time. You're gonna relax that hand, and this hand is gonna just follow your jaw, like you're wiping your face. It's gonna follow your jaw, and it's gonna end up over here just kind of loose somewhere near your drawing shoulder. So that would be release. So let's go back through the steps again because it's kind of hard to see them all at once. So we've got draw hand set, our scout's honor, archer's groove, bow hand set, pre-draw, step five, draw, step six, anchor, step seven, aim, Step eight, shot set up. I'm pulling and that elbow's coming back and I'm relaxing the hand and then I release. That's step 10. Step 11, I'm gonna be seeing that arrow hit the target and I'm going to follow through here and I'm gonna reflect on that shot. I'm not gonna reflect on whether it hits the center. I'm not gonna reflect on the outcome I'm gonna reflect on how my body felt in those 11 steps. So you're gonna use a piece of string to create muscle memory so that you're practicing correct archery form. You want to be able to feel that shot. You wanna be able to go through those 11 steps and know that you are a really good archer and that you've got the proper form. Students that practice proper form are students that are gonna enjoy archery for a lifetime. Students that don't spend a lot of time thinking about the form tend to get discouraged because they're not doing very well or they're not progressing and they end up kind of quitting. Um, they give up. So I don't want you to give up. I want you to practice and have really, really good form. The arrows in the target, that's an outcome. Focus on these 11 steps and I guarantee you're gonna do very, very well. Okay, so let's recap the 11 steps to archery success. So I'm gonna do so without saying the numbers because I get confused, but you'll be able to see uh, the words on the screen. So you'll see those 11 steps as I go through. So here I go. Stance, an open stance. Knock an arrow. Remember, I'll be coming below 
the, the fletchings, bringing the arrow straight up, pointing to the, my target, bringing it up my bow, over my bow, and backing it in and saying click. And so make sure that when you're looking in the mirror, you're saying click, because it's fun. Uh, draw hand set, scout honor, archer's group, bow hand set, that knot simulating the, the bow grip in my hand, free draw, hinging my arm up, keeping this elbow high, draw, anchor in the corner of my mouth with my index finger into my smile, aiming, shot set up, I'm stretching out, bring my elbow back, release, follow through, and reflect. Now I want to show you what it's going to look like. Now I want to show you what it's going to look like with a bow. In archery, we, we run the range on whistle commands. Safety is number one. So we use these whistle commands to move about the range. Now on back here, about four yards from our shooting line is what we call the waiting line. So I'm going to pretend, I'm going to step back here and pretend I'm at the waiting line. As an archer, I'm always going to be back here. I'm always going to be back here until I'm signaled by a whistle that moves me forward to get my equipment and brings me to the shooting line. So I want to show you how easy it is to transfer the knowledge that you have with your string bow to the bow itself. And I'm not going to shoot the bow, but I'm going to go through the motions. And um, when it comes to drawing the bowstring, and shooting the bowstring, I won't do that. But I'm going to, but I'm still going to go through the, the motions without really pulling the string, so that you can see how easy that that transfer is from your string bow to the real bow. So I'm back here waiting behind the waiting line, and I need to be signaled to come forward to get my equipment. So I want to come forward to get equipment. So in archery, I'm going to wait back here until my coach gives me get equipment to whistle class. That tells me I can move forward and get my equipment. So I'm going to be able to get my bow, it's going to be on a bow rack, and I'm going to be able to move forward to my shooting line, and I'm going to be able to go ahead and get into my stance. And then I'm, I'm going to put my bow on my toe, and that's just something that we do so that everybody's uniform and everybody's safe, everybody's, your hands are here, it's not, you're not at the, the arrows. And we're now waiting for our coach to tell us that we can begin. So when I'm getting ready to shoot, I wait for my uh, coach to give me one whistle that says, shoot. And I bring my bow up into my hand, my bow hand. I knock my arrow, bring it up and over, click, draw hand set, bow hand set, pre-draw, draw, anchor, aim, shot set up, release, follow through, reflect. Remember, when you follow through, it's kind of like we were relaxing that hand and you're going to kind of wipe your face and you're going to end up with this hand on your drawing shoulder. So you're going to be able to, to reflect on, on your stance and all of the other 11 steps to ensure that you were demonstrating appropriate form. And practice, practice with that string bow. You're gonna be able to shoot this great looking bow and you're gonna have the best time ever.